What's up guys, my name is Trudy Chan and in this video all I'll be talking about is Yep, you know it, plastic bag So I'll first analyze how plastic bags are made and the supply chain behind it So a supply chain is built upon a network of organizations which involve both up and downstream direction with different type of processes and activities of value creation So the question is, how is plastic bag made? Well, the two common raw material used for plastic bags is crude oil and natural gas in the beginning, crude oil is extracted from the ground using a pump jack and that is the very first element in the supply chain. The crude oil will then be pumped through a pipeline and convey them from the production plant into the refinery. The oil will then be further processed into small polymer pellets and then will convey them into the furnace with a very high temperature. This process is to melt them into a thick liquid plastic and after the melting process, the thick liquid plastic will then be poured into a mold to cool off and hardens up at solid plastic. After that, solid plastic are sent to bag manufacturers for further processing. In the manufacturing process, machineries are used to cut and custom different types of plastic bag shape, length and size. This production process is fully automated and streamlined, meaning that company can use this to produce large mass production. And from there, the bag manufacturer will then send their products to their customers, which are the retailers and the warehouses. And finally, plastic bags are being sold to the end consumer, and that is the final step in the supply chain. Next, I'll be talking about IT, information and technology, and how it can help business to know what they need. So IT may not be a solution for businesses, but it can be a tool for them to make better decisions. There are several types of uses of information that businesses implement on a day-to-day -day basis. One of it is TPS, Transaction Processing System. It's a software used to gather and store information about transactions, payrolls, manufacturing, and also shipping. Besides that, we also have MIS, Management Information System. It's to convert the TPS data for a better monitoring performance for the company. It also enables the company to have a healthier relationship and a more functional relationship between their distributors and their retail outlets and any other members in the supply chain. Now, research states that it's approximately 160,000 plastic bags are produced every second. Therefore, MIS system implements a better improved communication for companies to keep track along their supply chain. Now, all of this is to provide a more readily information for managers to, pro to make a better decision. Now we have been talking about a lot of forward flow distribution. We also have to focus about the backward flow. So reverse logistics is the process of managing return goods. Now plastic bags has a huge problem when it comes to the environmental. Why? Because it's not biodegradable. Plastic bags in specific takes roughly 10 to 1000 years to decompose. As a matter of fact, we commonly see microplastics which are little pieces of plastic bags ended up in beaches. And this has caused a huge harm to the marine life. And one of many examples are sea turtles, because they commonly mistaken plastic as food and then further ingest it. This has caused blockages to their dis digestive system and caused to eventual death. Now, studies have said that 93% of waste in the United States are not being recycled. And to add even more to that, the United Nations Environmental Study concluded that 40% of the plastic waste of the world are being burned and this has caused threaten to human life, the wildlife and also for vegetations as burning of plastic releases poisonous gas. Now all that have been said are challenges to plastic companies as it adds a lot of pressure to corporate social responsibility and to the environment. Now due to the fact that plastic bags are not being able to biodegrade and also has caused a lot of toxic pollution to the environment, a country in East Africa called Tanzania has implemented their first plastic bag ban in 2017. This incentive is to protect their youth and also to protect the environment. This implementation comes with a second phase ban which involves tourists. The tourists are being advised to leave their plastic bag in the at a designated desk in the airport. Now, besides Tanzania, there are many other nations in Africa such as Ghana and Rwanda has making changes to contribute to make a plastic-free country and also because of inefficiency of recycling that is recognized to this very day. 
Now, I hope everyone has a better insight about the plastic industry and thank you for watching my video.